In the pulsating heart of the university, a trio composed of Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle reigned with arrogance and questionable attitudes. The hallways echoed with their loud laughter and sharp words as they scorned their fellow students and professors, exuding an aura of superiority fueled by their family's fortunes. Kate, the undisputed leader, strode through the corridors with firm steps and a condescending smile. Maybe one day you'll make it, but I highly doubt it, she used to say, casting disdainful glances at students who crossed her path. Rebecca and Michelle, her loyal followers, laughed and applauded, contributing to the atmosphere of tension that enveloped the campus. Some boys always seemed to fall at the girls' feet. They were undoubtedly beautiful, but they chose those who were part of their group, generally the rich and bullies they allowed to hang around with them. The university's murals often featured impeccable grades, attributed to the trio, fueling suspicions and gossip. There's no way they really deserve these grades, one student commented. I heard Kate's father made a generous donation to the department, another responded, furrowing his brow and frustration filling his eyes. The air on campus was thick with distrust. Teachers seemed to avoid students' gaze when asked about the preferential treatment given to the trio. Rumors that they had influence over the faculty spread like wildfire, and indignation among the academic community grew. The trio seemed untouchable, shielded by privilege and power. Rebecca, with her shrill laughter, often belittled the efforts of others. Studying is for the weak, she declared, tossing her hair back. We have better things to do. Michelle agreed, adding, Honestly, it's like the world is at our feet. The trio's words reverberated through the hallways, breeding resentment and discontent. Groups of students gathered in discreet corners, discussing in hushed voices what could be done to expose the true colors of Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle. However, despite the whispers and disapproving glances, the trio continued to navigate the university with their heads held high, scoffing at everyone in their path. The aura of untouchability that surrounded them seemed impenetrable, feeding the atmosphere of tension and animosity. They were the untouchable queens of the university, but beneath the calm surface, the waters were boiling, foreshadowing the storm that was to come. The tense atmosphere of the campus had always drawn some brave souls willing to challenge the tyranny of the infamous trio. However, with the arrival of Wade, a transfer student with a piercing gaze and a determined posture, the resistance found a new glimmer of hope. Wade, with his strong character and unwavering sense of justice, represented an unprecedented challenge to Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle. On a sunny day, while the campus buzzed with academic life, Wade witnessed one of the countless acts of humiliation perpetrated by the trio. In the central square, with the gentle breeze swaying the trees, he saw the three of them surrounding a younger student, their cruel laughter echoing in the air. Do you really think you have the right to treat people like this? Wade's firm voice cut through the air, drawing looks from all corners. Whispers began, students exchanging surprised and curious glances. The trio, visibly displeased with the interruption, turned their attention to the newcomer. And who do you think you are? Kate asked, her eyes narrowed and her voice dripping with disdain. Wade, unwavering, took a step forward, his gaze locked with hers. Someone who sees the truth behind your masks, Wade replied, his voice resolute. What do you gain by humiliating others? Respect? Admiration? You won't get any of that this way. Rebecca and Michelle exchanged uncertain glances as murmurs rippled through the gathering crowd. The challenge had been thrown down, and the university held its breath, anticipating the showdown. However, despite Wade's courage and the growing desire for change, the trio's influence remained strong. Teachers avoided locking eyes with the young challenger, and the power of money and privilege continued to shield Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle. This won't stand, Wade muttered as he watched the three of them walk away, their laughter resuming in the air. Frustration among the students grew, and the hallways teemed with heated discussions and secret plans. Wade had become the symbol of resistance, and the campus stood on the brink of a revolution.
The need for change was palpable, and everyone felt that the time was coming. After Wade's bold confrontation, the hallways of the university whispered, yearning for change. In this scenario, a new figure emerged, bringing with her an aura of hope and resilience. Her name was Bella, with simple clothes and a genuine smile that contrasted with the backdrop of opulence and arrogance, Bella walked the corridors like a breath of fresh air. The first mocking words didn't take long to reach her ears, coming from that unscrupulous trio and other spoiled youngsters who always lived in their shadow. Look at the newcomer, thinking she can blend in with us in those rags, Kate jeered, while Rebecca and Michelle laughed, casting scornful glances. However, Bella, fearless, and with a glint of determination in her eyes, didn't hesitate. Stopping in the middle of the hallway, she turned to face the three, her voice firm and clear. Clothes don't define character, and it's evident that you lack it, regardless of what you wear or your parents' money. The silence that followed was almost tangible, the electric tension in the air. Students stopped to watch, realizing that this was a defining moment in the battle against the tyrannical trio. Michelle, her face flushed with anger, took a step forward. You'll regret this, newcomer. But Bella maintained her stance, her gaze unwavering. We'll see. The trio left, muttering veiled threats, but it was clear that the dynamics on campus were changing. Bella became the symbol of a growing resistance, the spark that could ignite the long-awaited revolution. Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle, though shaken, were not willing to give in. In secret meetings and whispered conversations, they vowed to retaliate, realizing that Bella's arrival represented a real threat to their reign of terror. Bella not only became a symbol of resistance, but also demonstrated an intelligence and wisdom that went beyond the classrooms. With each passing day, she fascinated teachers and peers with her Innova TV ideas and her ability to aptly knowledge practically, solving complex problems with disarming simplicity. Within the university's hallways and laboratories, whispers about Bella grew, weaving a web of admiration and respect around her. Did you see how Bella solved that quantum physics problem? It was genius, exclaimed one student, while another added, and the way she helped with the volunteer project? Amazing. As Bella flourished academically and socially, the shadows of envy and rivalry hung in the air. Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle watched from a distance, their looks filled with resentment and disdain. We can't let her continue like this, winning everyone over, Kate muttered, her expression tense. Rebecca, biting her lips, suggested, we need to find a way to show everyone who she really is, expose her, and reclaim our place. Michelle nodded, her eyes gleaming with a sinister plan. After nights of plotting and scheming, the trio decided to organize a lavish party, a dazzling event that would bring together the university's elite. Let's invite Bella, Kate said, a malicious smile on her lips. And when she least expects it, we'll expose her, show everyone that she's not who she pretends to be. The invitation was delivered to Bella with fake smiles and sugary words. Bella, darling, we would be honored by your presence, Rebecca said, while Michelle added, it will be an unforgettable night, I'm sure. Bella, observing the trio, sensed the malice behind their bright eyes, but accepted the invitation with a nod and a calm smile. It will be a pleasure, she replied, leaving the trio with a mix of triumph and uncertainty. The stage was set, the pieces in motion, and the university awaited with anticipation and tension the unfolding of the plot that would decide Bella's fate and that of the trio. Kate, the mastermind of the infamous trio, plunged into party preparations with meticulous dedication and a sinister gleam in her eyes. Every detail, from the lavish flower arrangements to the refined music selection, was carefully thought out to create an atmosphere of elegance designed to contrast and, consequently, humiliate Bella. Perfect ambiance, elite guests, tonight will be Bella's downfall, Kate muttered as she reviewed the guest list, making sure that all the influential and popular figures of the university would be present to witness the humiliation. 
Rebecca and Michelle, accomplices in the plan, assisted with the organization, their voices echoing in the hall of the sophisticated restaurant. This place is amazing, Kate. Bella will feel like a fish out of water, exclaimed Rebecca, adjusting the lights to create the perfect mood. Michelle, smirking maliciously, added, and when we reveal who she really is, everyone will turn against her. Bella's reign will end before it even begins. The trio laughed, confident in the imminent success of their plan. Meanwhile, Bella, unaware of the hidden intentions, was getting ready for the party. Upon receiving the invitation, a strange feeling washed over her. But she decided to face the evening with dignity and grace. Kate, always one step ahead, had already arranged photographers and cameras to capture every moment, every expression of Bella. I want to see every reaction, every embarrassment. This will be a night the university will never forget, she declared, her gaze determined and vengeful. The trio, immersed in their arrogance and self-satisfaction, was completely oblivious to the fact that underestimating Bella would be their greatest mistake. They viewed her as a humble intruder, unaware that behind that simplicity hid the descendant of a lineage of renowned intellectuals. Kate Rebecca and Mikkel, in their moments of conspiracy, wove a venomous commence and mocked what they believed to be Bella's modest background. Imagine her face when she realizes she doesn't belong in this world. Kate laughed as they planned every detail of the humiliation. It's going to be epic, Rebecca added dreaming of the redemption of her status. The entire university will see Bella for what she really is, nothing. Michelle, eagerly looking forward to the approaching day, exclaimed, I can't wait to share every embarrassing moment on social media. We'll be the queens again. Ignoring that Bella was the product of brilliant minds, the trio lived in the delightful anticipation of that night. Laughter and malicious whispers echoed through the hallways, feeding the already tense atmosphere of the university. Bella, on the other hand, maintained her calm composure, showing no sign of recognizing the nefarious intentions of the trio. She heard the comments, saw the looks, but continued her journey with dignity and grace. They don't know who they're dealing with, Bella thought, with a determined smile on her lips. The excitement of the trio grew exponentially as the big day approached. They imagined Bella's humiliation, the downfall of the intruder, and the triumphant return of their reign of terror. The air was charged with the anticipation of an impending battle, and the university's hallways pulsed with the energy of an approaching storm. Get ready, Bella, Kate murmured, with a predatory gleam in her eyes. You have no idea what's about to happen. And so the trio waited, unaware that the tide was about to turn and that Bella's true nature would be revealed, challenging their expectations and bringing about a twist that no one expected. The big day had finally arrived, and the restaurant chosen by Kate was filled with guests, each more luxuriously dressed than the next. The crystal chandelier in the center of the hall sent sparks of light throughout the room, illuminating anxious and curious faces. Murmurs and laughter filled the air as everyone awaited the unfolding of the night meticulously planned by the trio. Josh, a student who had involuntarily become an accomplice to the trio's machinations, anxiously awaited Bella's arrival, evident in his eyes. He adjusted his tuxedo and cast frequent glances towards the entrance, fearing her absence would ruin the trio's meticulous humiliation plan. Does the darling Bella even have a suitable dress for a night like this? Rebecca mocked with a malicious smile, eliciting laughter from her friends. Imagine she must be sewing one at the last minute, taunted Michelle, swirling her champagne glass. Kate, with a triumphant smile, simply observed the guest's restlessness, feeling in control of the situation. Tension in the room grew as the night progressed, with everyone wondering if Bella would dare to show up. Josh, one of the rich and spoiled boys who always accompanied the girls struggling with guilt, approached the girls. Are you sure this is going to work? Isn't it too late to reconsider? Oh, Josh, don't be so melodramatic, Kate scolded. Tonight will be our triumph, and Bella will learn never to mess with us again. Guests mingled, chatted, and danced, 
but the night's subtext was clear in exchanged glances and hurried whispers. The promised drama was the main topic, and anticipation was palpable. With each passing minute, the trio grew more anxious, wondering if Bella had realized the plan and decided not to attend. Frustration was about to set in when suddenly, the murmur in the room grew, and all eyes turned to the entrance. It was evident that something, or rather someone, had arrived, and the air became electrically charged with anticipation. Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle turned around, prepared to witness the outcome of their cruel conspiracy, but nothing could prepare them for what was about to happen. The sound of a powerful engine cut through the crowd's chatter, and all eyes turned to the entrance. A long, imposing black limousine pulled up in front of the restaurant, and the suspense in the air was almost tangible. The door opened slowly, and an expectant hush fell over those present. With grace and confidence, Bella emerged from the vehicle, and a murmur of surprise and admiration swept through the room. Dressed elegantly, the fabric of her dress captured and reflected the restaurant's lights, creating a shimmering aura around her. She exuded innate elegance, and her calm face displayed a serene smile. Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle, who were observing from afar, were dumbfounded, their mouths hanging open in shock. Their Machiavellian plan seemed to crumble before their eyes. This is impossible, Rebecca muttered in disbelief. Where did she get all of this? Bella gracefully walked through the hall, greeting acquaintances with nods and smiles. She didn't flaunt or display her status. She was humble, holding her head high with dignity. The revelation of her true background began to spread like wildfire, and whispers filled the air. Did you know she's the daughter of a prominent businessman? A guest whispered. I heard she prefers not to show off, fearing the shallowness that money can attract. Another replied. Michelle, still perplexed, questioned, How did we not know this? We underestimated her. Kate, trying to maintain composure, responded through gritted teeth. It doesn't matter. We'll find another way to put her in her place. Bella, paying no attention to the trio's shocked expressions, continued to mingle with the guests. She firmly believed that money and status didn't define a person, and that character and humility were the true measures of worth. As she conversed and laughed with other students, she remained authentic, showing that true wealth comes from within. Bella's triumphant entrance caused a wave of admiration that swept through every corner of the luxurious restaurant. She was like a beacon of dignity and grace, illuminating the room with her magnetic presence. The atmosphere was charged with respect for this young woman, who, with a dazzling entrance, had transformed everyone's expectations. Whispers of surprise and enchantment continued to spread throughout the room. She's stunning, remarked one guest, with eyes fixed on Bella. Who could have imagined, responded another, their tone marked by reverence. However, not everyone shared in this enchantment. Standing at a certain distance, Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle exchanged glances, the impact of the revelation evident on their faces. The atmosphere around them was dense, filled with disbelief and frustration. The trio felt the weight of defeat in their chests, realizing that their attempt at humiliation had backfired, becoming a mirror that reflected their own shortcomings. Kate, her jaw tense, muttered bitterly, this wasn't part of the plan, she fooled us all. Rebecca, gripping her champagne glass tightly, added, we were made fools of. Look at how everyone admires her. Michelle, her eyes fixed on Bella, grumbled. She's savoring every moment of this. And indeed, Bella was savoring the moment, but not in an arrogant or vain manner. She interacted with the guests, her genuine laughter echoing through the room. Her gaze conveyed a quiet confidence, a certainty that the respect and admiration she now received were the result of her character and dignity, immeasurable values that she held above all else. While the trio watched, cloaked in discontent, Bella made her way to the improvised stage for a speech. With sincere and touching words, she spoke about the importance of humility, authenticity, and mutual respect. Her speech resonated with those present, leaving a lasting impression. Character and dignity, Bella concluded, are the true essence of a person. They cannot be bought, 
forged, or masked. They are what truly make us rich. The audience erupted in applause and Bella descended from the stage, a gracious smile on her lips, knowing that on that night, the true victory belonged to integrity and authenticity. The night gradually filled with stars and laughter, but the brightest of them all was Bella. Every move she made, every laugh and every word were observed with admiration by those present. The atmosphere was imbued with a new respect and fascination for her, and with her grace and integrity, she became the shining jewel of the evening. In contrast, in the shadows of the luxurious hall stood Kate, Rebecca, and Michelle, whose once confident faces now bore expressions of defeat and humiliation. They retreated to a corner, witnessing Bella's brilliance, which overshadowed the superficial glamour they represented. This is a nightmare, murmured Kate, the leader, with a frustrated look. I never thought we'd be overshadowed like this. Rebecca, with crossed arms and a furrowed brow, added, It's as if every word of hers, every gesture, diminishes our shine. Look at how everyone is enchanted by her. Michelle, staring at the floor, muttered, We really underestimated Bella. She's more than she appears. And we, we are less than we thought we were. The soft music and happy laughter contrasted with the somber atmosphere surrounding the trio, who reluctantly realized the harsh lesson the night had taught them. They understood, through humiliation and regret, that respect and admiration were not commodities to be bought or artifices to be forged. Instead, they were treasures earned through genuine actions and integrity of character. The party reached its climax, and Bella, surrounded by new admirers and sincere friends, continued to radiate her authentic light. The lesson she unknowingly imparted was valuable. Being true to oneself and to others was the key to true inner wealth. As they departed in defeat, the trio cast final glances at Bella's radiant figure. That night, they had learned that true value resided in simplicity and sincerity, something they had previously overlooked in their pursuit of status and admiration and as the doors closed behind them, Bella's image, smiling and confident, remained as a symbol of an eternal truth. Authenticity is the path to true fulfillment.